I'm Maggie. This is Ryan. This is our doggo Cece. Um, we had Cece in for the three week board and train for some like aggression issues and a little stubbornness. Um, just a little. Um, and I, I, in, in about 15 minutes of my hanging out with her today, I've already had like a more pleasant experience in our walk around the parking lot because she has tended in the past to really like to pull and we had no success with trying to get her to heal. So for just that, for me right now, it feels really nice to be on a like enjoyable walk with her. So. Yeah, I think um, I was nervous before she left about like what training would entail and uh, essentially if it would <laughs> she be thought like, it was be like James Bourne, Jason Bourne, whatever. J yes, I, I did think that she was going to be like in boot camp and <laughs> going to end up like kind of traumatized, really well behaved. Memory but, swiped like <laughs> uh, but I'm traumatized. A robot dog. <laughs> uh, but getting the report cards was a really great way to keep on track with her. It's super clear that all of the trainers like really genuinely love and care for dogs, which is great. Uh, having the model of just the patience that it takes to just keep making corrections until the right thing happens. That uh, sometimes you just don't have the time or energy to do. Sometimes it's worth just letting the people yeah. who like doing it do it. T people who can do it all day long, got A, God bless them. And <laughs> Seriously. B, it's just, it's so much better because now I'm not the disciplinarian one, but now I feel like I have the tools to uh, support the correct boundaries for her instead mm -hmm. of just feeling frustrated that she doesn't do exactly what I want her to do and then uh, hoping Maggie can fix it. <laughs> I will also say even though um, this it, we did happen to do it during the coronavirus right so she went in for two weeks and we were, it was, then she had to come back to us for, a couple, for almost two months and they assured us that she would remember everything we did not feel so sure about that and then she had to do her final week after a huge break and she did get right back into doing those things but what we did get to see is that when we dropped her off the second time her joy of seeing the trainers made us fully like oh she everybody she's happy there it's a really good um experience and it just made it like oh, okay bye so so even though you don't need, most people don't think get to see that so that was kind of a cool thing to see your dogs are happy too yes <laughs>